Hello and welcome to ALW Research Team. Today I'm at Hull Royal Infirmary. This is a teaching hospital in the East Riding of Yorkshire. I've got a very special permission visit today. The Estates Department are letting me in a tunnel network that runs underneath the hospitals or the hospital buildings I should say and here we are so we're going to be going this way down here is a tunnel network that links all the buildings together I'm here today with Paul and Harry the photographers coming down here we've got large tray work which is to carry pipe work and cabling down into the tunnel network to distribute different things within the hospital. I've got my guide down here from the estate, Estates Department in the NHS uh, just to prove that I haven't broken. There he is. So this way, I came down here about 20 years ago as part of a guided tour uh, and all this was just getting put in and it's all for future use so the tray work up there comes down and comes this way and all cabling and pipe work can be fitted to this it's just used as storage for now but as you can see some pipe work ducting has been fitted already but mainly it's just for just for storage for now got something there it's called a vari variable speed drive which speeds fans up and down or motors electric motors uh, and then here we've got steam system so we've got steam from the boilers going off to do duty such as heating and then it comes back as a condensate because the steam has gone below its dew point and condensed back into water and it comes back and because steam is large and large in volume the pipes bigger but the condensate because that's smaller in volume it can go in a smaller pipe and it's got this stuff on it called lagging to keep the heat in because that pipe to touch the pipe would be seriously hot and then the keep like the condensate as well because all the heat in the condensate you want to retain to go back in the boiler and be reheated back to steam again above we've got what looks like water pipe work we'll tell by the rd tape on here yeah so we've got more condensate got softened water and then we've got uh mcws which is main cold water service it's actually called water pipe and then this is softened water for or presume uh equipment use uh or for use in bakeries and things like that but don't know if they use it in the kitchens or in, in machines that use water. Do you know? It will be, yeah. It'll be for, it's for some of the machinery. For the machinery? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if... I don't... I don't know much about hospital machinery. Uh, yeah, but some, I know, some of the equipment. Some commercial machines have a water supply to them. And you don't want lime scale building up within these complex machines. So we've got the turret work carrying on now. Those at the back look like, looks like high to four fiber optic cables at the back for communications. So that's fiber. Yeah. And then these are just general power cables, I believe. Fire systems. Yeah. Disc to disc, which looks like some sort of computer system. Yeah. And then carrying on, the steam pipe work jumps across and goes on the other side because we've got other services joining here. That looks like a that looks like a dirt separator or a steam trap there, and the steam pipe work goes across there, and then as we're coming up to valves and control points for the steam system, you can see the lagging's been removed. So if you ever see pipe work like this, don't touch it. It'll be very very hot. Put some more tray work here, and you can see it's empty. So this can all be used in the future. So all the, uh, the NHS are always expanding as the population grows. 
What have I here? More engineering things. Uh, that looks like a. Not quite sure what that is. Common set with time pump, yeah, is it? So yeah, yes it is. The, in the Royal Navy, they used to call these an Ogden pump. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. So it's where um, water in the pipework gets pushed back with compressed air normally, just an air supply, and it pushes it back, or it uses pressure from the steam itself to send the condensate back because otherwise it just all sit in the pipework up there looks like an emergency exit from this tunnel network yeah we've got some more tunnels this way right so we can see here this trail work's been sort of used up that one's completely empty for future use because above us there is a new section of hospital being built do you know what that's called? It's wards 36, 37 and 38. So three entire new wards are getting built above us somewhere. And some of the services for those new wards can be supplied from this pipe work, uh, correction tray work here. A new intensive chain as well. A new one? Wow. Yeah. It's the modular buildings. Uh, but the, and the reason the modular is just for ease of construction. It just, they, they get built a lot quicker, but it's for, it gives us an additional resilience for the COVID, etc. Yeah, the, hence the masks, because yes. we are still within the COVID um, restrictions at the minute. So we can see some of the trail work going off that way now. Is that to the Women and Children's yeah. Hospital? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so... Yeah, the Women and Children's Hospital here is close to me because my little boy was uh, looked after for quite a few months in there when he was younger. So I've got a, looks like a 63 amp socket outlet there. Then in here, this will be a little distribution board. We won't, obviously won't operate anything, but that's the main switch. And we've got some electrical distribution parts there, which are just big switches for people not in the electrical industry. You can see some more of the data cable in here, pathology, uh, Alderson, different bits of communication. So the NHS network is running through these. Uh, for those that have seen my previous videos, when we were at Ridgely Hospital, they, Ridgely had the sort of early data network, whereas this is an active hospital, so it's got all the modern data systems within it so coming around here we've got another emergency exit and we've actually got some oxygen pipe work uh, will that be breathing oxygen yes so we've got the breathing oxygen system there and that is not lagged because you don't really want grease or anything getting in contact with oxygen systems so you certainly don't put greasy tape on it and that is just brazed copper pipe work then above, looks like we've got a water system. Uh, is that Mains Cold Water Service? Oh, yeah. yeah, Mains Cold Water System. So they've got meters for everything as well. And then up above is the emergency exit. Then back this way, we've got the oxygen system. Trying not to get in poles where. That is a pressure relief valve, they call them a PRV. So if pressure within a system gets too high, there's a special valve in there that lifts. Similar to what's on the top of a pressure cooker at home. It lifts and lets the pressure out. That's what that is. That's just on there. Uh, other bits on this system, we've got a strainer there, which is just like a gauze thing. A bit like a tea strainer in a teapot. And you just get the sediment out of that. This looks like a pressure maintaining valve. Yep. Uh, and then we're back to the meter. And that is a pressure relief valve that's fitted. I'm going back this way. Is this, is this the... That's the, for where they put the pods. So uh, whenever you get any blood samples, etc., they come from the pathology to the wards and the wards to pathology for all the testing for microbiology. No, the pods that go shooting down there. Air pods, that's what Air it is. Air pods, yeah, and it goes zoom down here. Yeah, that's right. 
So there'll be a compressor somewhere that sends them down. Yes, that's that's actually in the main building itself. Yeah. Really big piece of kit. I can show you it sometime if you wanted to. That it's, that spirals round and around and around. Yeah, it's please. Yeah, we'll We're go. hopefully going to get a second visit here when I've done my confinement training, uh, confined space training with Harry and Paul, so we can go in the old tunnels, the old tighter tunnels down here. But we need to do uh, confined space training for that. So there might be a part two to this. So we've got to look after this man. <laughs> <laughs> Just behind, we've got this telephone junction box here. I can't even say that word. Ophthalmology. Ophthalmology. That's a long, that's a big word for a morning, isn't Eyes. it? Eyes. Eyes. So, eye department, <laughs> telephone junction. Ophthalmology. That's their junction box. I won't open that because I don't want to cause any. And that's a fibre optic junction box for communications. And back this way, we've got some more tunnels. And there's a lot of big steam valves going this way, so keep watching. As I mentioned earlier, the steam from the steam system is obviously very hot. We've got a slight fat in there. This is why you see a lot of NHS maintenance vans around, because they're constantly going around fixing leaks like this that you'll never ever see the public will never see these but that is what we're doing busy busy people and if you can see down here there's a gully down the side uh, that's we used to call those bilges and that's just to collect any uh, condensate or any leaks goes into there and then that's taken away pumped back out yeah we've got the evacuation pump there the pump the bilge pump to pump it all the way that's the bilge pipe work and going this way got more tray work and we've got empty tray work again for future use and then the in use fiber in use power cabling then we've got what looks like another dirt separator there on both steam systems and then going this way this is where the tunnel network gets really big because we're right underneath we're right underneath the women and children's hospital now and I remember when my little boy was in the hospital the the ward was at a constant temperature and that was to stop the babies that had very little meat on them to regulate their own temperature it was to keep the babies at a set temperature within the ward which helped them not get poorly and that is not done by these valves but this is part of the steam system these are big gate valves are these called? big gate valves that operate the steam supply to the women and children's hospital Morning. Morning. just got some workers come down to uh, do some maintenance down here that is the some of the steam system so again these aren't lagged and these will be very hot to touch got another system there Part of the dirt separator. I'm going this way. This looks like a calorifier, which is a big tank to heat up domestic cold water into hot water, the water that comes out of the hot tap for bathing the babies and washing hands. So we've got two domestic hot water pumps there. And then we've got two backup elements here, electrical elements, to heat the water in case of a steam supply failure. Uh, and there is the water level within the calorifier, right there, which is quite low. So I don't know if those other well, guys are doing some maintenance on it. And that's the pump selectors. Yeah, this thing here is called a sight glass. I don't know if it's focusing on that. 
that's the sight glass and that's the level of the water within this tank and going this way we'll start to hear a fan we've got an extract fan here that's that's supplying air into the tunnel and then there's another fan this way which we'll start hearing soon and what, what was that put in for again just so that it uh, creates oxygen within the tunnel it cuts off when, it, when we've got uh, a fire in the event of a fire all the doors close and the fans cut out because otherwise that would accelerate the fire yeah been a few which happened within the king's cross fire there was yeah. a underground railway station that caught fire in the 1988 i believe it was and the running trains because the underground runs on a london underground runs on a piston system and the pistons that move the air are the trains so if the trains are moving any fire gets a constant air supply and that was one of the major failings of the king's cross fire is that they didn't stop the trains so we've got here this is a electrical distribution board that's just got little uh, what people at home call trip switches which are molded circuit breakers little circuit breakers in there and going this way it starts to get there just because some of the lights are turned off just to save energy because usually there's only maintenance crews down here so I've got another distribution board there now looks like a fire system relay there ah surge protection surge protection in a separate box there we've got another bilge pump and then some firefighting equipment And then next time when I get hopefully get another privileged permission visit down here when I've done my confined space training we'll be able to go in the tunnels underneath the high-rise building here the original building of Hull Royal Infirmary at this site to the old, all the tunnels from the 1960s. Now those tunnels are what I need to do my confined space training for. So next time, see you there. So, just go back out. Just want to say shout out to my mum who organised this visit today, so thank you Mum. So that was the tunnel system underneath Hull Royal Infirmary. I'm Andy from ALW Research Team. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't done already. And I'll see you every Thursday with a new video at 4pm UK time. Bye-bye for now.